Il Montes Stoyanis is the new WBA regular welterweight champion of the world. He won the fight by unanimous, actually split decision, if you can believe it or not. One judge bizarrely had a 114-113 Rajab Butayev, meaning he thought Butayev won seven rounds. I cannot see that. Most of the people agreed with my scorecard, 117-110. One, one judge, excuse me, had a 117-110. Another judge had a 116-111. Crazy thing is, it's two judges. One had it closer than I had it in favor of Butayev. And one judge gave it to Butayev. That lets you know that even with all the politics going on in the air, and you, you, you know exactly what I mean, that a Russian fighter could still get a decision in the United States. You know, I, I w- it would have been a robbery if Butayev won it, but it's good to see that we are more fair than the other side. We should always, always try to be better than the other side. Now, enough of the politics. Let's get to the fight. I thought from... If you guys watch my channel, you guys know I'm a big Butayev fan. I thought Butayev was going to win this fight by stoppage. I could have been more wrong. Stanionis dominated this fight very early with the jab. First two rounds, that jab felt more like a piston right hand. Boom, hard left jab. It reminded me a lot of Sergey Kovlev's jab, which is a very hard left jab. He kept on sticking out, kept on landing on Butayev's head. And then when Butayev switched to southpaw in round three, Stan Yonis started landing a lead right hand. It was very powerful. Butayev was seeing an effect. Look, these, most of these rounds were competitive, but every round for the first seven rounds, in my opinion, had the same exact pattern. They were both landing, but Stan Yonis clearly landing the much harder shots. If Butayev fought out, out, out of the orthodox position, Stan Yonis was landing that big, powerful left jab. If Butayev switched to southpaw, Stan Yonis kept on meeting him with a straight right hand. It was a lead right hand. He, he was leading with power shots. A lot of young fighters don't know how to do that. But Stan Yonis has, I believe the commentator said, over 400 amateur fights. You learn that shit when you do that that many times. Round 8, Butayev got, took the uh, initiation. I think it's called initiation. Forgive me, it's Ramadan, as you guys know, I have not broke my fast yet, bear with me. He took the initiative, and he was attacking Stan Yonis first, he landed a few good combinations. Round 9, I thought uh, Stan Yonis uh, took back round 9, but then I thought round 10, 11, Butayev was doing the better work. And round 11, Butayev got a point deducted, Michael Coppinger and a few guys were disappointed with the, with the point deduction, I was not. I'm a Butayev fan. But he, this was one of the more dirty performances I've ever seen. It, time after time, continuously was pushing Stan Yonis' head down, punching him while he was pushing his head down, punching him during the breaks. He just was trying to do anything possible to win the fight, and he was resorting to doing dirty tactics. And then I thought around 12, Stan Yonis, not I thought, Stan Yonis clearly hurt Butayev around 12. And I thought he deserved a 117-110 victory. I could see it being a round or two closer. I can even sing it around wider for Stenuis. But Stenuis was the deserving winner. It was bizarre to see there were, it was a split decision card. But, you know, sometimes people see it differently. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Sadiq Boxing, out.